Healthy kids and happy families come together every year to visit the nurses who help premature babies grow at Asante Road Regional Medical Center. This is the first time Todd Parks and his three-year-old daughter Lucille participated in the Miracle Baby reunion. She arrived two months early. Parks was serving coffee at the event just like he did three years ago when his daughter's life was on the line. We spent 53 days up on the NICU floor and we're in the coffee business. So we brought in our Freedom One coffee system and we set it up in our room and we made coffee for the nurses who have shift change at 7 and 7 every day. Barbara Herzog Taft is a neonatal nurse practitioner at Asante. She says the unit sees more success stories now than ever. If a baby is going to be born preterm, then yes, the likelihood of a good outcome is better now than it was when I started here 19 years ago. Herzog Taft says this is partially due to changes in neonatal management. In many regards, we're using less technology and seeing better outcomes. We're finding that uh, new approaches to uh, management of problems related to premature lungs are working better. Herzog Taft says the hospital is also decreasing medication and promoting the use of breast milk. But NICU nurse Annette Godfrey says technology like the hospital's transport unit serves the community. This is uh, able to come off on a sled and able to load into an airplane. So the baby stays in this unit from the other hospital all the way to our hospital. It's kind of like an intensive care nursery on wheels. Godfrey says Asante continues to develop advanced care methods. Our respiratory treatments, our um, IV fluids, everything changes over time and we are the most progressive uh, unit in this area. Rogue Regional Medical Center uses this technology to serve prematurely born babies as far as 300 miles away. Covering your news, Megan Allison, News 10.